Hello children. Let's continue our third chapter. Today we discuss about preservation of food. So children kindly open your book page number 31. Let's see. Food preservation is the process of treating and handling food to stop or slow down food spoilage, loss of quality, edibility or nutritional value and thus allow for longer food storage. Preservation usually involves Preventing the growth of bacteria, fungi and other microorganisms. So children, what is preservation? Preservation is usually involves to prevent the growth of microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, okay. For example, molds cause a cotton-like appearance on bread. Such bread is not fit to eat. Chanda children. There are some methods for food preservation. Which are given below. First one is drying. Drying is one of the most ancient food preservation techniques. Which reduces water activity sufficiently to prevent bacterial growth. Second one is refrigeration. It preserves food by slowing down the growth and reproduction of microorganisms. This technique is used to preserve foods such as fresh fruits, salads and dairy products for example curd, milk etc. Cold stores provide large volume for long term storage for food stocks. Next one is vacuum packing. So children what is vacuum? Vacuum is a space that is completely empty of all substances including air or other gases. It stores food in a vacuum environment usually in an airtight bag or bottle. The vacuum environment strives bacteria of oxygen needed for survival, slowing, spoiling. Vacuum packing is commonly used for storing nuts to reduce loss of flavor from oxidation. Then comes to Salting or curing. It draws moisture from the meat through a process of osmosis. Children, you know what is osmosis? Osmosis is the movement of water through a semi permeable membrane from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. So in the upper class you easily clear about osmosis. Meat is cured with salt or sugar or a combination of the two. Nitrates and nitrites are also often used cure meat and contribute the characteristic pink color as well as inhibition of bacteria. 
then sugaring sugar is used to preserve fruits either in syrup with fruit such as apples pears peaches apricots plums or in crystallized form where the preserved material is cooked in sugar preservatives preservative food additives inhibit the growth of bacteria or fungi including mold common food preservatives include calcium propionate sodium nitrate sodium nitrite and sulfites so these are the one one preservatives then pickling pickling is a method of preserving food in an edible antimicrobial liquid in pickling the food is placed in an edible liquid that inhibits or kills bacteria and other microorganisms typical pickling agents include brine vinegar and vegetable oil so these are the pickling agents many chemical pickling processes also involve heating or boiling so that the food being preserved becomes saturated with the pickling agent then jelling food may be preserved by cooking in a material that solidifies to form a gel such materials include gelatin agar maize flour and arrowroot flour then jugging meat can be preserved by jugging the process of stewing the meat in a covered earthenware jug or casserole so these are about preservation of food these are one one methods so children all of you you read properly whatever i taught and this is your homework name the methods of cooking for the following dishes already i have done one number rest numbers is your homework thank you children